Hey everybody, my name is Mango. welcome to another snapshot video. So today's release 18W08 was a smaller patch, it mostly affected the way oceans generate. So in total 8 new biomes got added, so before we only had ocean and deep ocean, those are still in the game, but additionally we also have a frozen ocean now, which you can see here, so there's ice on top. There's also a deep frozen ocean variant, uh, it doesn't have ice on top, but both the frozen ocean and the deep frozen ocean, um, they don't have any kelp in it. Seems like the frozen ocean also doesn't have any seagrass, only the deep frozen ocean does. Here you can see a normal ocean biome, and that's a deep ocean biome. It also doesn't have any kelp. So here we can see a deep cold ocean. I don't see anything special about it. Right next to it, there's a warm deep ocean. So I really can't see any difference in between a deep cold ocean and a warm deep ocean, except that the naming isn't standardized. Right next to it, we also have a warm ocean somewhere. Um, but this also doesn't seem quite different. So there's, I've seen kelp in both a warm ocean and a warm deep ocean and also in cold and deep cold ocean. So here we can also see the last two new ocean biomes, the deep lukewarm ocean and the lukewarm ocean. So I've noticed that on the border of deep ocean biomes kelp generates, but generally in the middle there's no kelp, there's only seagrass. It's the only difference I could spot. But what's more interesting is are the ravines that got added between the oceans. So this is definitely exciting because we have naturally generating magma blocks now. So this seems like a normal ravine, like you could find it in the overworld before. But additionally, yeah, this is completely flooded. The magma creates water bubbles and there's probably also lava below. Yep. So the top layer is either magma or obsidian blocks. Also, you might have noticed that the caves are also partially flooded. So I've seen um, flooded caves now in ocean biomes, but also caves that aren't flooded, like this one over here. No, it's actually also flooded. In the patch notes, it says that the caves are 50% more humid now, which probably refers to that about 50% of the caves are flooded. Let's check if we can find a not flooded one. It seems like a normal ravine in a cold ocean biome. I've also noticed that the amount of ocean monuments in the snapshot is significantly lower. I've only seen them generating in deep ocean biomes like before, but not in the cold deep ocean, warm deep ocean, lukewarm deep ocean, frozen deep ocean. That probably explains it. The deep ocean biomes probably just a lot less uh, common. What I also notice is if there's a ravine now under those pillars, they would generate all the way down, which is something I haven't seen before like this. Those were all additions that got added in this week's snapshot. It was a smaller one, but I also want to show you something that flew under radar in last week because it wasn't part of the patch notes, but it's actually quite significant. So the way water generates or the way water sources are generated has changed they no longer require a block under them to generate. So you can easily flood large areas by just making something like this here. And this would actually spread now and flood the whole area. I could imagine this is actually a big problem for servers but because it's quite easy to uh, lag a server water or just grief a server by doing something like this doesn't require a lot of effort, so I guess this might be a problem. It also only generates a water source block on top, so if we would remove this again, then the water also disappears again. There's only a source block on top. We also noticed that the way frosted ice works got slightly changed. So previously, if you had a formation like this one here, and you pulled out a block, it would melt immediately. And then you could use this behavior in order to make a frosted ice way maker. Um, but it seems like this change here makes this at least a lot harder, or it's even not feasible anymore to do something like this. Also, it seems like that this uh, frosted ice block doesn't melt at all anymore. I'm not sure what was the intention behind this, if, it's, if there was any intention or, or if it's just um, a chain reaction with the changes to the water physics in general. 
but it definitely breaks a lot of contraptions that relied on the behavior. That's it for this snapshot video. Thanks so much for watching. Have a nice day. Bye bye.